Hooray, we got an extra hour sleep. Really? <laughs> Let's talk about that and other stuff. Back in a minute. Hey, good morning, good morning. This is Jan from New York City. My channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. I love, love, love helping people keep more of their own hard-earned money. And yes, it is unusual for you to hear from me on a Sunday morning. <laughs> but this thought just came to me. Why? Because I made myself a little bit of breakfast. And by the way, congratulations if you did get that extra hour sleep. I always find the changing of the clock a little bit confusing to my body clock, but that's besides the point, even though I do all the tricks of the trade, like for example, putting the clock back an hour when it's earlier, like in regular time last night, let's see, I think I tipped it back at nine o'clock instead of waiting around or whatever, but I still managed to get up early. Ah, that's okay. At least I got up. How's everybody doing today? Hope you're doing well. Now, as you know, I have to show you my updated stockpile. That is not on this video. That is going to be later today. I still have to film it. <laughs> but this video, I didn't even expect that I was going to make. So I made my breakfast, okay? And I had my wonderful, simplistic breakfast. I'm going to talk about prices for a minute. Listen, we all know that we are challenged with prices. But I want to talk to you today, like, believe it or not, using a thing called <laughs> much to my dismay, math, <laughs> but we still need it. <laughs> so I did a little math on a breakfast sandwich that everybody seems to love. Well, not everybody, but a lot of people like, okay. And there is nothing wrong with picking up those sandwiches. If you can do it, you meet all the criteria, all the check marks, hey, be my guest. But if you're struggling to pay bills, to make ends meet, I just want to point out, I just want to point out that sometimes those breakfast sandwiches, I did a little research on average of breakfast sandwiches, you know, the typical one with the egg on the English muffin with a little bit of meat and cheese. That one runs about $2.79 on average. So I did the math on my specific sandwich. I don't put the meat on my sandwich. Not that I don't like meat. I just didn't have it. I didn't want it. Not interested. So, but on occasion, maybe I would make mine with a patty of sausage. And that's a rare occasion, maybe once a year or a link on the side. But I do this at home. So let's do some of the math and see how much my sandwich cost me. I specifically had two scrambled eggs on top of a toasted English muffin with a smidge of butter. So I did the math for six Thomas English muffins. Okay, checked it out on Amazon and it was about 350. These numbers are rounded numbers. The actual number I think might've been 349. So for argument's sake, 350 for a package of six. Okay, a dozen eggs, remember rounded number, a dozen eggs, three dollars for the dozen eggs okay and rounded number with land old lakes whipped butter eight ounce tub three dollars okay because that's all i'm using is just simple scrambled egg on top of toasted thomas english muffin that's what i want so okay so i did the math my sandwich at home by the way let me throw in my 15 cent cup of joe <laughs> So my entire breakfast came to $1.80, my entire breakfast, okay? Coffee, and it was in a pretty, you know, my good old red mug. That mug is like, forget it. To me, it's huge. It's huge as far, I, I don't know what it could be, 12, 14 ounces. I don't really know. But to me, it's huge. I'm an older person, so I remember smaller cups. So to me, those kind of mugs are huge. But making a long story short, a dollar sixty-five. Add fifteen cents to it. My whole breakfast only cost a buck eighty. Plus, no having to run to the place to get the stuff. Plus, if I was to drive there, some people do. That costs more gas. I'm not putting down anyone that wants to do it. I'm not even putting down the sandwich because on occasions, you know, those type of sandwiches could hit the spot. You know what I'm saying? Just trying to point out something. So. I did the math 
the eggs, the um, muffins themselves, and the whipped butter came to $9.50 in total. $9.50. Now, I'm guaranteed that I can make six of those muffin sandwiches for nine fifty. dollars But even if so, I will still have, let's do the math again. I will still have at least the butter will be left over. If I'm using a dozen eggs and I do two eggs, okay, that wipes out a dozen eggs. But just wondering if you can figure out, of course you can, $2.79 for one sandwich versus $9.50 for six and having the rest of the tub of butter left over. I don't put too much butter on my toasted things. I put maybe about... I would say like a smear, like about a teaspoon worth because I try to, you know, watch my calories and stuff like that. That's not to say I wouldn't mind tasting more butter on there, but that's my choice. And what I could do is season it up. When you have, whenever you want to make something taste better and you don't want the calories, here's a great trick. Just season it up. And it really, really works. Do you see where I'm going with this? Choices. We live in a situation of choices. And at this moment in time, with every nickel and dime counting, making sure that all the bills are paid, making sure that we have roofs, we, we're warm in the winter, this, this, that, I think it makes sense to cut back. I didn't say cut out unless you absolutely need to cut out, but definitely cut back on what I consider a luxury food. Don't get me wrong. It sure is nice having someone else make my breakfast. But if you think about it, how much work is it? Let's talk about this for a second. It is not that much work. Okay, so I make instant coffee. I'm not even making it like uh, the old-fashioned way. Don't get me wrong. I love those old perk pots. We'll talk about that another time. <laughs> so I make my instant coffee, which is made in an instant. Big deal. Hot water, etc. So simple. Uh, it doesn't take a genius to make scrambled eggs, and I get to make them the way I like them. Because sometimes if I eat scrambled eggs, let's say outside, either they're too loose or they're too tight or they're seasoned too much salt, you know where I'm going with this. Nothing like your own food made the way you like it, in my honest opinion. So, I mean, it takes like zero effort. It I mean, what does it take? Zero effort. But you see where the savings go. All right. So enough of that. Again, choices, just like the thumbnail says choices. So listen, come back later today if you'd like to. And I'm going to show you how my stockpile progressed. Just have a couple of things to do. And then I will film this and then upload it probably at some point in the early afternoon. That is my guesstimation. And of course, wishing everybody an amazing fantastic day thanks for being here i truly value you and if you found value in this video please smash down the like button thank you take good care bye bye